Hey guys, welcome back to my channel and thanks for watching my new video. As you can see, I already did one eye and that's because I want to show you how we can achieve bigger looking eyes. And there are a lot of tutorials out there on YouTube, which I've watched. Um, but I do think that um, like most of those tutorials are more like how to get more like a rounder eye, how to get more like a dull eye. Sometimes I feel like the eye definitely looks bigger, but not necessarily more sexy or more sultry. So I'm just kind of like missing the... Um, the sexy vibe to it you know what I mean so we all kind of know how we um, can make our eyes look bigger you know by applying a lot of mascara on the bottom and on the top by applying falsies but these are some tips and tricks that I've learned along the way especially when it comes to eyes where you don't have a lot of space but just too much skin and overhanging crease you might want to watch this tutorial I'm going to do this eye and you might want to take notes because it's you know important not only do I want to show you how you can achieve bigger looking eyes, but also like elongated eyes, which I find extremely sexy. It's kind of like the celebrity eye look, I would say. This chair is still making noise. Like, excuse me, I went to the gym today. So what I did is I took my uh, sculpt palette from Sigma and I went in with the color Throw Shade, which is this color right here. Taking my soft definer brush from Zoeva and I'm going in with that color. It's actually a bronzer or a, you know, like a contour shade. So it's not going to be too extremely visible and very blendable since it's not really an eyeshadow. If you have hooded eyes or you have like very little eyelid space, then it's beautiful to make this area like right there. So if you look up this area right there, a little bit darker, it's going to make your eyes look so much bigger and so like less hooded. So I'm just going to place the color right here. I'm also going to bring it a little bit more towards the outside so we kind of have like a blended more like elongated look doesn't have to be perfect because we're going to blend this anyway now i'm blending it with my taper blending brush from sigma and nothing crazy you just blend the edges until you don't see any harsh lines obviously i could also go in with a very you know heavy smoky eye but that doesn't necessarily mean that it's going to look bigger it's just going to look more intense instead of bigger actually it looks even smaller i'm also making this area a little bit darker just so we have a little bit more definition and you know my eyes are quite flat so it's just going to create the illusion that that the eyes are you know deeper into my skull taking the same brush same color i am going to Place it right underneath, but not too much because I don't want to make it very smoky. After that, I'm going in with the shade Hollow, which is the darkest shade in the palette. Some people would disagree with this technique because it's, it is going to make your eyes look a little bit more like an almond shape instead of more like a rounder shape. Personally, I'm not really a huge fan of having round eyes and also having big eyes because that is, on me, it's not going to look like I have a lot of expression. It's just, I'm just going to look like a doll. I'm just going to elongate it a little bit to keep the sexy factor in it. The brush that I'm using is, I don't know what brush this is. I think this is from BH Cosmetics. It's kind of like a fluffy, fra fluffy flat brush. This is the darkest shade and I'm just going to make it a tiny bit smoky, but you can't really even see that we have a lot of shadow going on there. And that's the, kind of like the benefit of using bronzers instead of like eyeshadows if you make a mistake you can't really see it it's very blendable i'm also going to apply the bronzer a little bit right here I'm taking my sigma brush again and i'm going to make sure we have no harsh lines so after that i'm going to tight line my eyes i never really used to do it until i did it once and then i just got addicted to it because i feel like it makes a huge huge difference and um it's just going to make your eyes look way more bigger intense especially if you don't have a lot of space to like wear an eyeliner tight lining is going to be your bff it's beautiful it is uncomfortable especially for me because i wear contacts but i'm never going to like i never leave the house without even if i don't have makeup on so this is just how i do it and by the way i'm using the benefit bad girl bang 24 hour pencil in black what is that okay so like that what i also like to do is kind of like accentuate my tear duct i think it's called tear duct i don't really like to go in with a black pencil on the waterline because that is going to make your eyes look more intense but not not bigger so i'm just going to only accentuate my tear duct so right there and right there 
So I'm not really creating a cat eye, but it's just going to look, my eyes are going to look a little bit bigger. After that, I'm taking the same eye pencil, but this is in the shade brown, and I'm going to create a, yeah, I always call this an eyeliner wing. It's not really a wing, it's just, I'm just going to make it a little bit darker right here. And the reason that I'm using brown is because it's going to look a little bit more faded instead of like black is just going to look a little bit more harsh and I don't want to create any harsh lines. We're going to blend this later on as well. I'm just going to make this a little bit darker, but not too much, just the outer part of the eye. Now you have to like blend it until everything looks smooth. You don't have any harsh lines. After that, I'm taking this Cheek Leader Bronze Squat Palette from Benefit and I'm going in with the shade Cookie just to apply it a little bit, as you can see right there, on my eyelid, but as well as right there. That is going to create the pop, you know? You know the pop? So just a little bit, nothing crazy. I'm applying it a little bit more in the middle and also, as I said, right there. With my Benefit Brow Contour Pro, I am going in with the lightest shade, which is called the highlighter. This is actually meant to go underneath your brows, but you can just use it as a like eye pencil. And I'm just going to make sure that the waterline is clean in the middle. I said that I was going in with the lightest shade, which is called the highlighter, but that is too light. So it's going to create that fake doll effect. So instead, I'm going in with a lighter shade, and this is in the shade Brow Light. And I'm just going to place it right in the center. That waterline over there is just clean, like that. Taking a smaller brush, this is BH Cosmetics in number 11. I am going to dip in this cookie highlighter a little bit, and I'm going to place it right here. This is really important. So when it comes to creating you know, bigger looking eyes. Sometimes like we just want to go in with the heaviest eyelash because it looks, you know, intense. But as I said, intense is not the same as having bigger eyes or like almond shape eyes, especially if you don't have a lot of eyelid space. Like if I look straight or like that, um, I don't have a lot of space. So you don't want to like cover everything that we just did up with um, falsies. A lot of falsies are extremely dramatic and it's just going to make your eyes look even smaller so what i like to do is i like to use an eyelash like this which has a lot of see-through through it so you can just see a little bit of your eyelid but sometimes that can be like too intense as well so when i would like wear my eyelash right there it is you still can see like my eyelid but overall for some reason it makes my eyes look smaller so i just cut the lash and i use the first um, part of the lash. So not the last part. I just throw that away the first part because it's going to look more natural because my own lashes are not like extremely long. So if I'm going to apply very long lashes at the end, it's just going to look a little bit weird. And this just kind of like goes gradually. So you have a little bit more of a almond shape effect. So I'm just going to curl my lashes first, which is also very important with my favorite curler from Tweezerman like that. The mascara that I'm using is BH Cosmetics Stellar Lash, which is a very good one. I'm just going to apply a tiny layer. You don't have to use falsies, but I do like it when it looks a little bit more, I said almond shape so many times, like I think you guys get sick of it. <laughs> almond, 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 almond. And I just place it right there. So I'm just going to give it a curl. So these lashes are from Queen Tarzi and Aaliyah, but if you have lashes with a clear band, I just ran out of it, but if you have that, it's going to be even more better because then you'll see more eyelid space, which is going to make your eyes look bigger. I'm always learning, so I would love to know your tip and tricks when it comes to, you know, creating bigger eyes or more like elongated eyes. You would make me really happy if you subscribe to my channel, hit that notification bell, which is even better, follow me on Instagram, like this video, you have to do quite a lot, but you know. Just give me some love, okay? Uh, and I'll see you guys in my next video. Bye!